COVID pandemic is affecting families everywhere. More and more people are in need of food and everyday items. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson, and this is Springboro here and there. We are here at St. Francis Episcopal Church, along with Mary Harris and Reverend Jed Deering. And thank you both for being here. And your church is hosting a food drive this weekend, right? That's correct, yeah, the Saturday and Sunday, uh, the 16th and 17th from 10.30 to 12.30, both days available for drop-off here at St. Francis. And this is all in support of the Spring Springboro Community Assistance Center. That's correct. Right now, with just the increased need of the pandemic, the pressure that's putting on families, uh, the Community Assistance Center has been doing a great job distributing uh, weekly groceries to families in need, as well as sending children home over the weekend with backpacks full of food. And so we're just uh, hosting this food drive in an effort to help support them and keep those pantry shelves stocked as they're doing this great work for our community. Because we really can't emphasize enough that this is affecting people who might otherwise have never had to go to a pantry for some food or for some staple items. Absolutely. Like here in Springboro, we've been blessed uh, to be really a very like well-off community. <laughs> and the, But now with the pandemic raging on, people are facing those needs, financial needs and pressures in a way that they haven't before in this area. What do you say to those families, you know, who maybe never had to ask for help? Maybe they've always been on the other side, providing volunteer time, providing assistance, and now, now they have to ask for help. Uh, just that it's our chance to give back and, you know, it's an opportunity for us to care for each other mutually. And we know each of us in one way or another, whether physically, emotionally, spiritually, go through hard times. And so in the same way that we seek to give, uh, we also have an opportunity to receive sometimes. And it can be a grace also for others to have a chance to give and to share. Yeah, oh, that's beautifully stated. Um, let's talk about the actual food items because um, we have a, a good list to, for people to start with and you can always go to the website to get more information. But give us an idea of some things that you're looking for. Absolutely, some of the needs that we have especially are canned foods, you know, it's winter time, canned soups, stews, and chilies. We need condiments to go with all of the other food that's donated. I think so, people forget about that. Yeah. I've seen a Facebook post about exactly. sauces and yeah. ketchup. You and want mayonnaise. to help your food taste good, and if you're anything like me, and you have a two-year-old, he's not eating that chicken without ketchup on it. So <laughs> He's not eating anything without no, ketchup on it, right? No, not anything without. Again, other boxed items, uh, things like laundry detergent and dish soap, those items as well that uh, food assistance and help from the government can't always purchase. Those are really helpful things. Okay, and so again, now Mary, what is your role in this food drive? Well, I've been out passing out flyers. I will be here Saturday and Sunday. Um, take it to the shelter, you know, to the food pantry. I just enjoy helping other people. And Father Jed signed us up for January, which I'm not very happy with. <laughs> I used to participate in Christmas in Springboro. Mm -hmm. Well, it was always cold and icy and snowy. And this weekend, it's going to be, what, 30 and 32? So Jed is carrying on the tradition. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the drop-off. Do people yeah. need to get out of their car, or how will this work? No, absolutely. The nice thing about St. Francis is we've got a great drive that comes right in and around to our front doors, and we will have volunteers ready and waiting uh, who will be masked to come help unload from your trunk to put it into boxes here uh, so that you don't have to worry about it at all. So we encourage you know, everybody to come bring it by. And also, by us having to work and come bring everything in and out of the car, it'll help to keep us stay, help us <laughs> right. stay warm keep during warm the time. Well. Yeah. And Mary mentioned that you signed them up for January, yeah. and this is through the Springboro Pastors Association, right? Absolutely. We wouldn't be doing this today if it weren't for the example set by Jubilee Church, just up the way from us here on North Main Street on 741. In October, they hosted a weekend food drive for the Springboro Community Assistance Center. Uh, and they set the template for this. They had a great response from the community. You saw their signs while driving by, dropped off lots of great food. So during a recent visit to the assistance center, when they let it be known that their shelves were running much lower than before, um, we brought this need back to the Pastors Association. And the Springboro's Pastors Association this year has agreed that every church is going to take one month of the year and host a weekend food drive to help ensure that throughout the year, the assistance center shelves will stay stocked. So you can keep an eye out in coming months uh, for the news about the churches that will be hosting food drives throughout the year here. 
And this is a really easy way for our residents to give back because when you're at the grocery store, pick up two of an item yeah. as opposed to the one. And then every month you can feel like you can um, track down where it's going to be because as you said, it's going to rotate to different yeah. churches, but definitely can make a difference. And it really does make it, one person can truly make a difference in, in contributing food, right? Well, let's review the days and the hours for people. Great. Yeah, so it's this Saturday and Sunday, January 16th and 17th from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Swing through the parking lot here at St. Francis Episcopal Church at 225 North Main Street. Drop off your items. Uh, they'll be safely received from masked volunteers who will help to take those and we will get those to the assistance center so they can be distributed to our neighbors in need. And as we said, we know that we can all be there at some point in our lives. Uh, before I let you go though, Father, I wanted to ask you, we are living in some turbulent times right yeah. now. I think people are feeling uneasy. What, what can you say to those folks? You know that I think uh, taking the opportunity to join together in serving our neighbors who are in a time of need is a great way to reach across confusion and division. One of the things that we can agree on right now is that uh, this pandemic has really impacted all of us. And beyond the pandemic, the other, the needs and hardships that people might be facing in different times, we can continue to serve and to care for each other in our community in these times of confusion. And in that way, we can meet each other across difference. And that way we can love one another, we can love God, uh, and we can help our community to grow together. Thank you very much. Yeah. For more information, you can visit our website, which is ci.springboro.oh.us. But we look forward to seeing you this weekend at St. Francis. We'll see you next time.